All right, folks, <clears throat> we have a Permobil M3 over here. This power chair has six electrical function, folks. Six electrical function. It has 83 miles. It was used for like four or five months at the most. If you use your chair every month, all day, you're going to get about 25 miles a month in a power chair. So 83 miles will be about, I would say, three to four months. Let's just say five months. This is why it still looks new. Now, this chair, folks, is fully loaded. It has all kinds of stuff. So before we start, I'm going to take this knee brace off here okay then we're going to get that back on in a minute and i'll show you what what that is for in a second but this chair right here right now is set up for a tall person so this is why the legs are all the way down don't worry about that if you order this chair we can adjust the height we can adjust the legs we can adjust everything for you but right now we're going to do the video the way it's set up as a tall person right now that was sitting in this chair so one thing about this chair um it has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs. It has the legs also that go up and down. Not only do they up this way, but they go up and down this way also. That's why we had the knee brace. Also, we have the interior tilt. With the interior, interior tilt, the, the seat will tilt forward to help you get out of the chair, okay? So all the functions on this chair can be worked through the joystick or through the switch box. I like to use the switch box because it's quicker. There's all kinds of goodies in this chair which I'll cover as we go along. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to make the seat go up. So if you watch the seat right now, the seat's going to be roughly 22, 23 inches when it's all the way down. And if you add your 12 inches, okay, you'll be roughly at uh, 34, 35 inches. The nice thing about this chair, when the seat's elevated all the way up, you'll still be able to drive the chair at a good speed. So if you watch, I can't show you how fast it goes, but it moves at a really good speed with the seat elevated. So let's look at the base while we have the seat up. You can see the armature right here for the seat lift. The actuator is actually here for the motor for the seat lift. You have six wheels on the ground, as you can see for yourself. 14 inch solid tires, they're not gonna mark your floors. You have an anchor point here, and you have another one over here, and you have two more on the opposite side. Four anchor points. This is where you secure your chair if you're going to transport this chair. You have a big suspension back here. You might be able to see the fork move when I lift the chair up. This chair weighs over 450 pounds, folks. This is a heavy, heavy chair, 450 pounds. This is why you have such a great ride because of the weight of the chair and the suspension. The weight's coordinated with the suspension. It's just a fantastic ride. This chair has two motors, folks. So I'm going to show you something right here. You might be able to see it from there. This right here is the front motor on the right side. This is the front of the motor on the left side. So the motor goes from front all the way up to the wheel. There's no chain, no belt. Everything is direct to the wheel. No maintenance on these, on these chairs, okay? If I want to push this chair and roll it around, well, it's, I'm not going to be able to lift it. And it's in gear, so I can't push it. But if I turn the power off, and the reason you want the power, because these are electric motors, so you don't want no resistance. Power off. You see this little reflector here? On top here, there's a little mini handle. You can't hardly see it. I wish they made it a little taller. You see this handle? If you push it inward like that, it frees the motor from the wheel. Look. See that? You can see the suspension I was telling you about back here for the back of the chair. So you have to do both motors. When you're done, do not forget, put it back in gear, save you some aggravation, okay? So that's what, you, that's what I'm talking about, the base right here of this chair. Now we're going to turn the power back on. And we're going to put the chair back against the wall right here. The next, well, we got to, let's bring the seat down. While the seat's going down, let me talk about this. This is called a swing away joystick. So you can get a lot closer to a dining table without the joystick sitting right here, okay? If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side and put that cup holder on this side. Okay, so this, that's just called a swing away joystick. Okay, we're all the way down. The next feature I'm going to show is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is when the base right here goes back. So when the base goes back, it's going to take the legs and the back because they're all connected. This is good if you want to relieve pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back. You just want to relax or you want to have circulation in your legs. 
I'm, this is as far back as this will go. But look at this, folks. If you had your legs up in the air, let's bring the feet out. And remember, these chairs are fully adjustable. If you're five feet tall, six foot two, no problem. We can adjust the length of these legs. We can adjust the seat depth. We can adjust the cushion. We can change the cushion. We can fit these chairs to your need. Look at this, folks. That's a little extreme right here, having your legs that far up in the air. <coughs> so, as you can see, that's a little extreme. But, folks, if you're halfway tilted, this is why these chairs are so phenomenal. <coughs> if you're in pain and you need something for comfort, I mean, you... If this doesn't do the job, look at this. Your feet are still higher than your body, even though I'm only tilted about 30%. I'm going to bring the tilt all the way down. <coughs> Excuse me. The next thing I'm going to show you is the recline. I got to think about this. There's so many. I don't think I did the seat lift yet. We're going to do the recline. The recline is when just the back right here goes back. Nothing else is moving, but the back is going back. The arms are moving down with the back. These chairs are so well engineered. It's unbelievable. Look at this, folks. Pretty much flat. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to reset the cushion. The cushion is crooked on here. There we go. Now the cushion is straight. So now, this is what it would look like, folks, if you were laying down flat on your chair. And if you transfer from the side with a sliding board, you can take these off and you have nothing in your way, okay? These go back in here. Matter of fact, let's talk about these while we're looking at them now since I pull one out. These are lateral knee pads. So these here, when you're sitting in a chair, they keep your knee from buckling out, okay? It keeps your feet on the foot plate and so your foot falling off the foot plate. These are really good. These can be adjusted up and down this track. They can go in, they can go out, they can go up and down. There's adjustments everywhere on this. So you can put them anywhere you want. If you want your knees here and you want them like this. <clears throat> these are lateral knee pads. These are custom for this chair. We're going to bring the back back up. Uh, no. We're going to do it this way. And we're going to bring the legs down. <coughs> Excuse me for my coughing here. This is my uh, fifth video in a row. I'm losing my voice here. So if you want to do two functions at once, you can do that through the joystick instead of you doing two fingers here like I'm doing. All right, we're back to normal position. All right, I'm going to show you something right now, folks. Let me bring the legs all the way in. Two functions that I really like here. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a seat lift here. So this chair has a seat lift. Let me bring this back down a little bit. Looks more normal. <clears throat> the seat is going up. Remember I told you it had a 12 inch seat lift? Look at this. You're going to start roughly at uh, 22. By the time you're all the way up, you'll be at 34 inches. This is your seat lift, folks. The nice thing about this, when the seat is all the way up, you can drive the chair still at a good speed. Okay? Now, let's bring the seat back. Uh, let's bring the seat halfway down. I want to show you something. I'm going to bring the seat halfway down. Let me bring the legs in some more. Now let's just say you have a person who has trouble getting out of their chair, okay? All right. This chair has got what's called interior tilt. So now that the seat's elevated, maybe three quarters of the way, I'm going to tilt the seat forward. Watch. You see this? Look at that. Folks. If I'm in this chair and I want to get out, I'm already out. This is called the interior tilt, folks. Interior tilt right there. Okay? 
So this is a really good way to get out of your chair if you can't get out. If you, if you can get out, then don't do this function. Don't waste any functions. But for some of you who have trouble getting out of your chair, this is one way to do it. Um, we're going to bring the seat lift back down. And there's only one function left. It's the up and down foot plate that goes up and down. Let me show you that real quick. Now, the knee brace I showed you earlier that I took off. Let me bring the legs in so you can see this. Let me bring the seat lift all the way down. There's so many buttons on here. The seat's going all the way down now. All right. So this knee brace right here, okay, is some of you would like to be, feel like you're not coming out of the chair, which you, uh, you shouldn't, but this is an extra custom part. You, it slides right in here like this. And you can only slide it in when the legs are all the way in. If the legs are out, it's going to hit the cushion. You're not going to be able to slide it in. So this is called a knee brace. It keeps your knees in here. So if you want to lean the seat forward, but you don't want to get out, you want to grab something, but you feel like you want to stay in your chair, this is called a knee brace. It comes with this chair, okay? Also, this chair has the foot plates that go up and down also. So look at this. To make those foot plates go up and down, you have to do it through the joystick. So I'm going to go to the function move everything to the legs watch the foot plates now see how they're coming up okay and see how they're going down you can go all the way to the ground look at that now if you get that low to the ground everything's going to turn red over here because you can't drive when it's like that they won't let you drive because you're going to damage your legs I'm going to bring him back up Oop, this way I'm going to bring them back up. All right. So these are the six electrical functions on this chair. Let's put this over here. Let's turn the chair around. Let's put the chair back in drive. Let's turn the chair around. So as I said earlier, another thing, you have bags on each side. You have a bag on this side, a bag on the opposite side. These are gel arm. This is all custom, folks. All custom stuff. All this is full of gel on both sides, okay? You also have on this side, folks, a drain cup holder here, okay? You also have over here, right here, a USB port, right there. This is where you plug your phone, right here where my finger is. There's a USB port on this chair also. The cushion on this chair is 20 by 20. This is foam, but back here, folks, it's air, air pockets. There's a valve right here. You may not be able to see it from over there, but I'm going to try to show it to you. There's a valve right here. <laughs> okay. And you can pump air into, the, into the, uh, this valve right here and, and adjust the air cushion back here to your support. Okay. This will stay. This will move to whatever pressure you want. You have a safety belt over here. You have a contoured back. This is a, this is a, a, a mesh back, so you will not sweat with this back, okay? Of course, you have a cup holder here. You have the lateral, lateral knee pads there. You have a fully adjustable headrest. I don't know what else to tell you, folks. This, every time I look around this chair, I find something new on it. When you charge this chair, you'll take your charger. This may not be the charger, but I'm going to use this one. It plugs right here, and as soon as the light go to full or green, the chargers will usually stop charging. All right, this was a long video, folks. Remember, we can adjust this chair to your body size. So whatever cushion, size, seat you need, just let us know. This is a Permobil M3, which I think it had 83 miles. It was used for about four or five months at the most. It is fully loaded. It has six function, 12-inch seat lift electric tilt, electric recline, electric feet that go out, electric feet that go up, and you have the interior tilt that leans you forward. You have the knee brace over there that's also in addition. You have the swing away joystick, you have the gel arm, you have the pads on both the, uh, the pouch, you have the lateral knee pads, you have the drain cup holder, you have the adjustable headrest, you have the suspension, the anchor points. Just a phenomenal chair. If you're looking for high quality, which is the highest quality there is, is Permobil. Um, I would definitely look at this one. M3, mid-wheel drive chair, fantastic turning radius. So if you're in the house, it, it turns on itself in the house like this, on its own self, all the way around like this in the house. So folks, if you're looking for a nice chair, 
This one's available right now for you. This is a fast chair, folks. So the top speed on this chair, the top speed on this chair is 6.4 miles an hour. You notice when I stop, it comes to a halt within a couple feet. It has electromagnetic brakes in the motor, so as soon as you let go, it comes to a stop and it's in gear. Even though it powers on, it's still in gear, but it's locked in gear. So if you're going downhill or uphill and you stopped it, it would not, it would not roll out on you. That noise you hear is all the acorns on the ground. This, all these acorns fell off our tree. That's the noise you hear right now. No problem in the grass. As long as you have a good bottom, you should be fine. I'm gonna raise the seat up so you can see me driving the chair with the seat elevated. I'll tell you how fast it goes with the seat elevated. So remember, this is the M3 with about 83 miles on it. It was used four or five months. It has six electrical functions, fully loaded. I can't even go on all the stuff that this chair has. You'll probably remember from the video, but gel arms, lateral pad, USB port, bags, so the seat's elevated. Let me turn and we'll see how fast it goes. So this one here with the seat elevated, it goes 3.3 miles an hour. So walking speed's about two, two and a half. This goes 3.3 miles an hour with the seat elevated. If the seat is all the way down, you're gonna go 6.4 miles an hour. So again, folks, if you're gonna ride this chair with the seat elevated, please do it on flat, even surface. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.